Good evening, welcome back to the channel. Firstly I'd like to say a massive warm welcome to all the new subscribers. I think I've had over 100 in the last two weeks. So thanks very much and welcome. Now if you've seen in a previous video up here, I took the LED light bar from my roof rack because it was just too damn noisy and I installed it in my grill. So we need to put some spotlights back up onto the roof rack. So this is going to be a how to um, install the spotlights, wire them up via a relay and use an existing Land Rover Discovery switch um, which I converted to independently turn them on and off by the main beam source. Let's go. This is the spotlight, which I'm going to get the this plug to. Now, this spotlight has got three wires. It's got live and the negative, as usual. It also has a yellow wire, which is for some DRLs. Now, I'm not sure when you use them yet, but I'm going to wire them in anyway. So I have a three pin, see, one of these waterproof connectors and um, <clears throat> I use these all over the truck on my spotlights and my on my rear work lights, they're really really good. Here's what I did just now, that's what it will end up looking like. Okay. So. First thing first is to make sure the wires are the same length, which they're not. So I'm going to cut them so they're all equal. Strip the wires. They don't need to be very long because this these are the pins for the connector so you can see normally you would just plug the wire in like so and then this part crimps over and then this part just holds the wire but as you know if you've been watching a lot of my videos I prefer to use solder so that's what I'm going to do Quickly tin these wires. Well, I found the easiest way is to just put my connector. One of the pins and hold it into there. Don't use too much solder, else you won't be able to crimp it properly. Wire. Yeah. So smart smart solder. Just wire in. And dry. Simple as that. So now all I do <coughs> I use the 
the end of my wire strippers. You just bend the tabs over. There, hopefully you can see that. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then and that will just slot into there, but you have these little waterproof seals which should go on first, which I forgot. You can put them on afterwards. I'll do that now before I forget the others. Stand again. Once you have the pins soldered onto the wires, you next need to push them in here. You push them in the back, which is this, this where the circles are. Okay. If you look on the pin, you will see that the bottom is a little bit fatter. Or Okay, and that's the bottom and you push them in like that and these lugs on the top lock into the connector right so I'm having red on the left so it's sometimes it takes a little bit of a wiggle to get it in but make sure they're straight Okay, that one's in. I have a negative in the middle. That way up. That one's in. And my DRL is going to be on the right. There. They're all locked in and that's what you should see on the end. They should all be flush. And then you put this kind of locking tab That's one connector done. Next, you just seat the seals so you can just push them in the back. I use uh, a small screwdriver to be very, very careful that um, you don't cause any damage. going to put some, some heat shrink over there to make it look nice and neat <coughs> and a bit more waterproof and that is the spotlights done so next we need to do the obviously the, the other side of the, the connector <coughs> like that 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure, because these are going on top of the roof rack. I only have two at the moment, but I'm going to do wiring for four. <clears throat> so I'm just going to measure my length of cable, and then we can build these up. Right, we're now going to make the other half of the connector. Um, this is the male side. Um, so I've done some measurements on the truck. Um, as I said before, I've only got two spotlights, but I'm going to wire up four for future use. So I need um, 400, 320, 400 in between the four um, slots onto the roof rack. Now, because this wire I bought is 12 gauge, there's only, if I just show you on one of the pins, this is the one of the male pins. As you can see, there's no way you're gonna get two, two wires on each pin. But obviously you need to loop, um, you know, from one spotlight to the other. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make like a 10, yeah, probably about a 100 mil piece of wire for each for each connector and then once I've done all those I'll join them up and solder them up in so they're then in um, in series so that's the plan so let's make up the connectors first so again first thing, first thing to do is tin the wires Then a small amount of solder again on the pin. So I can't steam it up.
Right, so I've got all the male connections on now. So this will be the, from the first spotlight. So we're basically going to put the, all the spotlights in series. <clears throat> so this one, the second one. This is the second one. Do the third one like that. And the third one to the fourth one. This is going to be spotlight number two. So I just need to solder on here now, like this. Right, let me show you where we are. So this would be the right hand spotlight. I need to solder on the feed coming from the relay under here. Spotlight number two, not very pretty because you know I have to get three connections there. And I can't, normally I'll do it on the connector, but the cable's just too thick to get into the, the lugs or the pins. So that's the only way I thought about doing it. So I've just soldered the two opposite wires together and then soldered on the, the spotlight spur, as it was, coming off. And I've done that with the same, I've done the same to spotlight number three and then spotlight number four is just a single, obviously, the end of the line connector. So the next thing to do is to, so I've got a reel of cable here. And this, this will be going to the relay to power the spotlights. So I was thinking the only way to do it is to do my, my trick would be to pull back some of the insulation and then solder the wires on like that and then um, I have got some heat shrink so I shall put this through the heat shrink let me tin them first so they don't splay out so let me tin them the light on tin these up the, uh, the wiring loom built. As I said, I just need to connect this other end to a relay. I need to find a relay. I need somewhere to put it in the engine bay. Um, I haven't actually got a an additional spot lamp switch in the cab yet. So I'm going to wire these the same as my bumper spotlights and my light bar whereby the source will be the high beam and then it will go to a switch um, from the switch to the relay and then from the relay obviously to the, to the actual spotlights. And that way you can have the high beam flashing high beam on its own or I can individually turn off all of my spotlights to come on with the high beam. I think that's probably the best way to do it. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. Right, the loom's all made up now. So before I fill it to the truck, I'm just going to test it works okay. So I've got a battery down here with some <clears throat> test leads on it. So I plugged in the two of the spotlights. So let's see if um, it all works. Right, that's the DRLs. Right, that's two spotlights. Plug in the other two ports. We've only got one. Okay, number two is not working for some reason. It's a bit bizarre. Oh, dodgy connection somewhere. Is that the connector?
Right, so it looks like a negative. It's not in right. Ah, uh, it didn't come out. a bit of a nightmare so the pin the end of the pin had actually snapped off <coughs> probably because uh, all my wiggling trying to get the, uh, the pins in the connector but anyway I managed to get the pin out which was no mean feat in itself um, and there was luckily enough of length of cable for me to solder a new pin on so I just managed to push the new pin back in put it back on the connector connect up the spotlight and let's see if it now works Nah, that's better. Yeah. Nice try that one. There. That's better. Should check that one's alright. Yep. Yeah. All good. Good job. So that just uh, goes to prove that you should always test your wiring before you put it in place because <clears throat> even though I've got a good solderer things happen and those pins are quite delicate and you know it's quite a struggle to get three pins on a short amount of cable inside the connector um, and it just goes to show that they can uh, break just put the loom in place across the front of the roof rack it's only loosely tied in for now Run the cable, same way I had for my light bar, down the here, and then the wire goes under here, through here, through the bulkhead, well it's on top of the bulkhead really, and then um, along the fuse box and into where, and this is where I'm going to put my relay, so I'm going to put my relay here, um, this will be in a fuse. For it. So I'm just going to wire up the relay now. So this is the relay. It's a 30 straight 40 amp relay, well over the top really. <coughs> um, and I'm going to use one of these kind of pre-assembled um, connector for the relay. Makes it a lot easier to stick in. <coughs> the only thing is the, the colours for the wires are a bit, mm, a bit wrong in my opinion. So I'm just going to put up a diagram of the wiring for the relay here. As you can see, the black, which is pin 30, is from the um, that's from the fuse from the battery. So I've got this 12 gauge um, battery cable here. So this will go to that um, fuse block. So I'm just going to solder that onto there. First of all. So that's why it's warm by now. Tin up. Tin on there. So tin both of these. Yellow is 86, which is going to ground. So I have black cable for that. Um, the white is 85. And that's coming from the main beam switch and red, this is red, 
87 is going to the lights. Um, right, so the lights, already got wire in there for the lights. So that can be soldered onto that in a minute. Um, and this one will wire a cable on there. This is just a trigger wire from, from the main beam switch. Let's go into 85, which is white. Um, supply from the fuse block <coughs> will need a ring connector on it. This is from the battery via the fuse block. This is a negative, this will also need a ring connector on it. Um, let's do that as well. We need to find out how. Positive and negative done, all that's hot. And this, oh, this is coming from the feed from my switch. And then we have this one that's going to be up to the lights. So I need to fit that in. So let's move to the car. And you hate it when you lose the end to the solar. Ah, I got it right. Right, so here's our connector for the relay. Um, now what we need to do um, is I'll just strip back this wire here. So we need to connect this. Now this is going up to the lights on the roof rack. Okay, so basically it's the output of the relay. So I need to connect that to that. Okay. While it's floating around, which is going to be interesting. So, turn off the, the wire off. Now I've already got my heat shrink on there, so I can just go straight ahead and solder it on. Yeah, I'll do. Tighten the lens. Right, that's that one. Um, that's all we need to. Do. That's all we need to solder over here now. I will eventually have to solder a wire coming from the switch, but I need to sort that out yet. As I said, I haven't got a switch. I need to find where I can put one because there's a distinct lack of switch locations now. I might use one below the fog light and and um, get a spot lamp cover for it. You know, one of the factory ones. Uh, use a latching switch. Right. So that's it to stand like that. So this wire here needs to go out of my out of this grommet if I so many wires now if I can get it through. Here we go. Here he comes, come on in. Right down there, I'll get to it. So that's the wire that's coming from the switch. Just turn this all in off. So let's 
that's going to go down there. Next is going to go under there. It's going to go under, under there. That. And come under here. A lot of room on there now. Let's get along the bolt. Gonna go over there. Onto there. Yeah, there for now. So let's go like that. Alright, so let's get let's get this negative one. negative one. So I drilled a hole for the fuse already. So let's put this in just gonna be the two top ones. Okay, like that. Yeah. So it sits in like that and we have the oh. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the live neutral So we just need the feed and the fuse That's done Right, I've redid my stash of switches and I found an original discovery switch now this is a latching switch, as you can tell by this. On, off, on, off. Now this was for, or from, hill descent switch. But as you can see, I've got a different cover on it. The cover I've taken from the fog lamp switch. Here's the fog lamp switch, and you can see this is non-latching. So it just goes like that. So I've taken the cover off the fog lamp and put on a roof light sticker. Okay, now I've wired this. So these are the switched terminals. And I will wire this all the way along here. And this will be from the high beam source. And this will go to the relay in the engine bay. So I've got two spare slots here. So we'll take out this one, the dummy one. We'll thread the cable through. So let's take that out of it. That's got a switch on it. Yeah, what's that one do then? I wonder. It's a secret switch. Mmm. -hmm. Where that goes on? Weird. I don't know where that goes. I can see it. I don't know what that one's for. Curious. Let's put it back anyway. So I see a switch. So I'll connect up. Those are for the lights to light up. I'll do that another day. It's getting late today. Because it's getting late. Completed the wiring, 
So this is the feed, the trigger feed from the high beam. All right, and then I've split this into two. So if you remember from the previous video, one of these feeds the spot lamps on my front bumper. So I just <coughs> created a spur off that one, and that goes up to my switch. Enable the roof spotlights. And then the wire comes down to here and this goes to the relay under the bonnet. I've just mounted the spotlights onto my roof rack and plugged them in. Okay, so let's see if they work. First of all we'll try the DRLs. Those are the DRLs. Let's try them with the lights off. Right now let's try the main beam. And with the lights back on. There we go. Well done.